Hi, this is a video for assi IT-112 Assignment 1 setup. A um, couple of things that I want to show you. First of all, we look at the assignment and it does it can direct you to the blog. Uh, when we go there, you'll see that there is a blog. It talks about setup and installation. It tells you where to find Visual Studio Code, Python, and Postgres SQL. Um, I have just as a note, those are all three installed already before I start this video. So if you need help with those, that's a different video or a different thing. I have uh, the basic code here. I also have, because we want to do GitHub, GitHub um, there's a uh, link here for how to set up the thing in GitHub. So we're going to do that. And there's also a link uh, for the next one, mostly. There's a sublink in here of an alternate way to set up the database, and we will do that also. So, but that'll be a different video. That'll be the next video. I also want to show you that we have, in pages, we have some things that can help. Uh, this is a description of how a Django project is set up and what it looks like. It shows you what the directory structure will be like. Okay. And uh, let's go back to some other pages that could help. There is uh, another page on the initial setup with the Postgres. This one is on Ubuntu. You don't have to do that. You'll probably be doing it on Windows or Mac. And we don't want Apollo, I, I need to change that. We want to make a Python 3.8 or better. Uh, there's some concepts of Python, to talk about models. There's a uh, broader discussion of GitHub. If you go to Blogspot, it gives you a discussion of how to use GitHub if you haven't used it before. So, I just wanted to show you those pages were there. Let's go back to the first assignment. All right, so we want to create a virtual environment and install Django. We're going to start a new project called Python Club, except I'm going to do tech review. Okay, so if we look again at this, uh, tech review is what I'm going to do as the example. Your assignments are all going to be based on Python Club. I want to re-emphasize this many times because there's a lot of people that try to turn in tech review as the assignments. I want you to do Python Club. The stuff you do in Python Club is very similar to the stuff I do in tech review, but it's a it's a different project. All right, so the example is going to be tech review. The assignments are going to be Python Club. Okay, so first thing I am going to do is I'm going to make a directory for this. And I'm going to zoom so you can see um, this a little bit more. Where is my zoomer? I want to magnify. I don't know why magnify. Yes, it's the magnifier. Why is it not coming up? Is it underneath everything? Nope, it's just not working. So let's close it and let's try it again. Because I want to make uh, things bigger and it's not working.
All right. So I'm making things bigger there. And I want to go here. And I'm going to go to Documents. I have a lot of different documents here. Uh, you probably don't have as many, but this is in my local machine documents. And what I want to do is make a new folder. So up here, well, actually what I'll do is I'll just come down somewhat out of here. And I'm going to just right click and I'm going to do new folder. And the folder that I'm going to make, I'm going to call it to Django um, Projects. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to do Django Projects. All right, so this folder is empty, and that's fine. Now I am going to get a command line. And um, I'm going to launch that. And I'm also going to down zoom because I already have it fairly big. All right. So what I want to do is change this directory to CD uh, documents. All right. And if we do a directory here, we should be able to see everything, including one of the documents should be Django. Way up at the top, Django projects. So we also want to change it to Django projects. CD Django projects. Okay, so I'm there. I'm in the Django projects. If I do a directory here, we'll see that it's pretty well empty. All right. So what I'm going to do with this command line is I am going to say Python uh, Python install. I think it's install. Let's go real quickly to here. So it's dot in. This is what we want. Except I don't need a three. The three you will need on uh, Macs and you will need it in Linux. So let's go back to our command line. So python dot m uh, v e n v and now we can give it a name it doesn't have to be e n v i'm going to call it e e e n v o one so it's my environment one v n v is a virtual environment django requires a virtual environment to run in so if i do this with luck it will install so i'm waiting So it says nothing, but if I do a directory now, you'll see that there is an env01. So I want to activate this environment. And so what I'm going to do is, um, env01. scripts activate this is different on a mac it'll be closer to the uh, on the mac it would be source envo1 slash would go the other way bin slash activate but the thing is you want to activate the virtual environment and you can tell that that happens because you have the parentheses here now, what I am going to do is I am going to install. Uh, so I'm going to install Django. And basically, it's just pip 
install Django. And this will install all of the Django files. Take it a moment. So let's, okay, it's almost done, I think. So it tells me my pip should be updated, which I should do, but it should be fine now. We have Django installed. So I want to now create the project and I'm going to create again the tech review project. And I'm going to um, try to be, so I'm going to do Django. Admin. Start project. And I'm going to call it Tech Review Project. Actually, let's do it lowercase. Oh, I didn't do a space. One of the things you can do is you can do a up arrow and it gives you all of that. The problem is I ran Tech Review Project and uh, start project together. Okay, now if I do a directory, you'll see that I have the env01 and I have the tech review project. So I am going to change directories to the tech review project. If I do a directory in here, you'll see that there's another tech review project here and that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to um, create, do a manage pi. There's also a manage pi file right there. I'm going to say Python manage pi. And we're going to do start app. And we need to give uh, it a name and I will call it tech app and again I'm going to do it all lower and now if I do a directory we'll see that I have the tech app so we've basically set up our project and our application now what we want to do is we want to add it to uh, Django uh, not to Django to GitHub so I'm going to put this down I am going to go to GitHub. So my GitHub account is www. Um, it's actually not www. It's just github.com/spconger, and I'm going to skip the. Didn't want the database. I just want to go to spconger. All right, in order to create, now this is free. You can sign up for free, right? I'm going to sign in. SPConger. Let's see if I can remember. Let me look up my password real quickly.
I think I know. Just slightly wrong, almost right. Okay, so I can make a repository now. Now, it, you, I have lots of repositories, and I'm going to look at these right now. Um, you will see that there are lots of tech review projects. Um, I'm going to make another tech review. So one of the things you can do when you're here is you can like look at past versions you know here's a tech review proj and you, you could look at the app and you can look at the different things and you could look at the models and you can see actually I didn't finish that one out uh, I might delete that one but the thing is you can see that there are uh, lots of uh, versions of this on here so I'm going to actually add a new version. Um, I'm going to call it Tech Review uh, 20 Winter 2020. Is that too long? maybe um, I'm going to initialize this with a readme file and um, okay so I'm going to create the repository Right, it's an initial commit. Uh, it has a README. That's all that's there. Tech Review Winter 2020. So, I am going to. We've created this. I want to get the. Uh, I'm going to get this into where we can use it. So I am going to open Visual Studio couple of things about Visual Studio is I have already uh, installed Git. Again, you don't have to install Git um, if you're on a Mac, but probably on Windows you will need to. And if I look at um, the, not there, if I look at the assignment and we go to uh this thing where it talks about the project the the blog one of the things that it has is how to set up the github repository and we've done the beginning of it we've created the repository all right so now i want to do visual studio code which i've also got installed and i want to i want to go here and i want to um do the command palette and I want to clone git clone and we need the repository name now it may also ask you for a password and everything else uh, if it isn't set up so I am going to do uh, tech tech review winter 2020 And now we get to say, where do we want to put it? And I want to put it on documents, and I want to put it with Django projects. So I am going to select repository location. And it should ask me if I want to go there. So 
so let's go. Uh, file, open folder, and we want to go to Django. Django projects. It doesn't look like it's done it yet. So I want to do git clone. I think I need the URL. So let's go back to here and let's go to git. And this is tech review. So let's do the whole clone, the whole thing. And then I'm going to clone from GitHub. So it's going to allow me to sign in. I have to authorize. I'm going to allow it open. Lots of security things, but let's see if it works. And now we're going to go to documents again, Django projects. And now it's cloning the repository. And now I want to open it. Okay, so we have Tech Review Winter 2020. Now, what I want to do is I want to move in the the uh, Tech Review project into the into the Git Hub that's been downloaded. So I'm going to I could actually take this whole folder and move it to there. All right, so if that fails, we want tech app, control and manage pi. I'm going to copy those. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste all right so all of those are in here so it has all the files for our project and our thing so we want to um, don't need that one but we want to commit these We don't need manage pi up there. It's been a while since. Oh, let's do um, plus plus. Oh, I did manage pi. I didn't we want manage pi? I do want a lot of these others though. I'm just doing the plus so that they're going to be added. We don't need these. All right, so we can um, commit these. And I need a commit 
So I'm going to say first setup commit. We're just naming the commit. Okay. And then we're going to um, push this back to the original. The three dots there give me the push. So if I go to GitHub here, uh, and we go back here, and we refresh here, notice it has the tech app, and it has the tech project. So it has all the files that we've created so far, and they're all up on GitHub. And from now on, all we have to do is commit our changes and then push them to uh, GitHub from Visual Studio. If you don't want to use Visual Studio, you can, and I'm going to go back to the folders here, you can um, use regular GitHub tools, the command line, or however you want. A lot of those are explained in that blog entry on GitHub. But we're all set up now to go. So this is the end of the first assignment. The thing for the first assignment is to get Django installed and uh, create a project, and then get that project up on GitHub. Okay, that's it for this recording.